What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the three teams that I used in order to take on all three stage variations of Neo Clash Akainu. So there is a shooter stage, a striker stage and also a slasher type stage. But before we get into the teams, let's actually overview the character that you guys are going to be farming for. So here we have the Neo Akainu. So he is an int driven fighter type character so his classes do not change however he transfers from a strength unit into a int unit into an int unit which is actually pretty awesome uh, especially because all of his special abilities actually transfer to now being int based abilities so if we overview his captain ability he boosts the attack of all units by three times. This is just 2.5 times with the unevolve. When you evolve him, his captain ability does get buffed into a three times boost. When you attack in the order of purple, 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 all in a row with a chain of good or better. So you have to hit good, great, or perfect with three int characters in a row. And then you get three times attack to all of your other units, which is actually like not a bad captain ability at all. So, his captain ability is slightly different, where you don't need to attack with strength units, you just have to attack with int units this time. And also, his special ability actually did get a buff as well. It is now only a 16 turn cooldown, whereas his previous raid boss version was, I believe, 17 turns. And it does the exact same thing, except with int, of course. So, it does 50 times his attack in int damage to all enemies, and then changes int character slots into int, and then you basically get a 1.75 color affinity boost for your int characters for one turn. This is a very, very powerful special ability. Now giving all your int characters matching orbs. At the moment on global, int teams aren't really that great. They're not the best teams ever. However, if we're talking about meta coming out in the future, Neo Akainu is going to be amazing for that because uh, int teams right now are extremely powerful on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to try ahead and farm this guy up because he's going to be extremely useful in the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise. He will be returning sometime in the future, however, the best time to do it is now because there are some amazing stuff you can get your hands on. So if we go to the Chopper Man missions and you go to the special quest, you can actually scroll down and see some of the crazy rewards that you can get. So uh, overall, you can get some pretty crazy rewards such as... Um, uh, you can get books as well. You can get some uh, almighty manuals for shooter type characters. You can get the evolver set after a certain amount of runs. You get tomes. Here you can see here there is the uh, the silver manuals. And if you keep going, you can also get the uh, the auto auto heal books as well. Um, you can also get uh, manual shooter books. There's an absolute almighty manual. These are golden almighty manuals for shooter type characters. So if you can farm this, I would highly suggest to do it because the rewards that you get are absolutely insane and this is for each of the three classes you farm 15 runs of each of the three classes and you'll be able to get a ton of amazing rewards now they've actually changed it from the previous neo uh, stages is now if you actually check the banner literally the first paragraph says that you can farm it up to seven times per day for each class this is amazing because it is not timed anymore previous neo clashes were timed where you actually had to go ahead and have a 30 minute period and farm it as much as you possibly could. Now they've changed it so that you just basically will go ahead and farm it seven times per day with no time limit and then after the day will end and the day restarts you get another seven runs. So it'll take you at least three days in order to get all the rewards but it's very very worth it and it is an amazing event to get a lot of really good rewards from it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video and uh, if you guys do enjoy it make sure to smack the like button down below but without further ado let's head over to the different teams against Neo Clash Akainu. So the first team that we're going to have a look at is going to be the shooter base team. Now, by far, the shooter version of Neo Clash Akainu has got to be one of the most difficult pieces of content in the entire game. It is extremely difficult to get around, and even if you do have a lot of the legends for shooters, it is still extremely difficult. So the whole gimmick of this specific round of Neo Akainu 
is the fact that he actually has a one-hit barrier, so you can't bring any specific major health cutters, or you have to do damage to him first before activating any of the other specials to do damage to him. Also, the big thing is, is that when you kill him, he does the normal thing that regular Raider Kainu does, where he will revive and he'll blow away the unit that actually killed him, or hit, hit the final blow against the Kainu. But what he does is he buffs his defense and lowers your crew's attack for two turns. And there are actually no good attack down removers except for the Burindi World from the Limited Rare Recruit or the uh, Colosseum NL, which we actually don't have on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global at the moment. So the way to get around this is to actually bring damage reducers. So on my team, I'm bringing the Rare Recruit in Perona and also I'm bringing Legend Hody Jones. There are definitely free to play options in those uh, in those different units there. You don't have to bring those specific ones. The Fortnite Perona is also a solid choice. Also uh, access to the Fortnite uh, Jola. Fortnite Jola is also a good unit. Both of those units that I just said, Fortnite Jola and Fortnite Perona, are both 90% damage reducers. So those guys are actually really, really good in place of Hody and the Rare Recruit Perona. So those are also really, really good options as well. Also, 6 plus Usopp is quite nice as well because he will delay a Kainu through the protector that he will actually activate upon reviving. But if you do have that limited Rare Recruit Brindy World, you're going to have no issues clearing this whatsoever. His captain ability and special ability are amazing for taking on this specific dungeon but you also really need a good way to get matching orbs and a good uh, type and orb boost the margaret is amazing because she will give you an orb boost for multiple turns and then you've also got ace as a two times type booster you could use zephyr as a replacement as well um v2 boa is highly recommended as the friend captain if you guys don't have v2 boa yourself recommend highly to bring v2 boa as the friend captain she will enable you to beat it a lot easier um uh, if and you know unless if you're bringing some other weird combination of a team but overall that is going to conclude uh, my team for the shooter version and i'll see you guys against the striker version of neo clash akainu So now let's talk about the striker version of Neo Clash Akainu. So the big gimmick here is the fact that when you activate a special ability like Neko's that will go ahead and treat a certain orb as beneficial, what he'll do is, is he actually has an interrupt for that and he'll then go ahead and transfer all your orbs into, I believe it's Tandem Recovery. He could transfer them into another orb as well, but he basically makes it so that he doesn't give you colored orbs because he does not want you to get matching orbs with Neko. You know, against the striker version, they really try and nerf Neko Mamashi. But the way around this, as you're going to see in this video, is the Boa Sisters provide amazing utility for this, as they'll provide a full board of matching orbs, naturally, uh, and they'll also reduce Akainu's defense, because I believe he actually has a defense buff as well. So he reduces their defense, and he'll also go ahead and give you the conditional boost, of course. So you get the type boost, the conditional boost, damage reduction, uh, reducing enemy defense, and a full board of orbs. The Bowl Sisters are fantastic units, of course. We all know how good they are, and they work very, very well against Neo Kainu. Then on the revive, he's actually going to go ahead and apply a damage limiter against purple and yellow characters. So anyone that deals over 5,000 damage to a Kainu when he has that damage limit up will be reducing their damage. So you want to make sure you are bringing someone that isn't Sile Int, otherwise you won't be able to kill a Kainu through the damage limiter, unless if you have a way to remove it, of course. Um, but then we go ahead on the revive, we're going to use Shirahoshi and Law for the full board of matching orbs and also the orb boost, and that's able to take down a Kainu extremely easily. So the striker team, very, very safe with Neko and the Boa Sisters, um, but overall, this is actually one of the easier ones, thank god. And now we'll move on to the last one, which is going to be the slasher version of Neo Clash Akainu. Thank you. 
Moving on to the final version of Neo Clash Akainu, we have the Slasher Team. So the Slasher Team we're bringing is a Treasure Map Mihawk along with a couple of other units as you can see here, some very strange unit choices, but they all work very, very effectively. So the preemptive attack of Neo Clash Akainu is he's going to cut your health by 30% and he's going to change your orbs into block, tandem and meat orbs and then he locks those orbs for two turns. Now the amazing unit that you have to bring on all your slasher teams against Neo Clash Akainu is going to be Doc Q. Doc Q will change block, tandem and meat all into matching orbs and because they're locked for two turns you get two to three turns of a full board of matching orbs just from one unit alone. So Doc Q if you have him he is amazing for this fight. Also, uh, Treasure Map Mihawk, all you need to use is his special with a full board of orbs and you're able to take him down extremely easily. However, when he revives, he actually has a three turn rainbow shield damage reduction uh, buff. So the way to get around that is to use the quick rare recruit Diamante. His special ability will remove three turns of the enemy's damage reduction and that will allow you to basically take him down extremely easily because we still have a full board of matching orbs. So you can use the second Mihawk special and you can take him down extremely easily. Easily. So, if you have Doc Q, Diamante, and Treasure Map Mihawk all maxed out, uh, the other two units, Shanks and Kizaru, are just stat sticks. So, the Slasher team is definitely the easiest one by far in order to take down against Neo Clash Akainu. So, hopefully, you guys are able to at least take down the Slasher version of Akainu. But, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you guys have, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.